What is going on and welcome everyone to this FIFA 23 player career mode video. In today's guide we'll be covering the center midfielder build with an overall of 96. First thing you want to do is head on over to the player profile section and set your position to midfielder, your role is central midfielder, and your height to 5'10", which is equivalent to 155 centimeters, your weight to 119 pounds, which is equivalent to 53 kilograms. Now bear in mind that the height and weight will not affect the overall of a central midfielder, but what they will affect is your acceleration and sprint speed. The higher they go, the lower the acceleration and sprint speed, but at the same time, the higher they go, the more physical attributes that we have. But for an ideal build, I do recommend after a lot of testing that you set your height and weight to 510 and 119. But if you decide to increase that, that will not decrease your overall. And your preferred foot, you can set that to right or left. That is a personal preference and has no bearing on anything else. As for the perks, the three that we're going to go with are going to be threaded pass, precision pass, and finally interceptor. Because it will be good to have some intercepting skills, especially since you want to launch every attack ideally from the midfield and not let the ball get all the way back to your defenders. And now on to the attributes themselves and starting with the physical section. As is with a lot of builds, we're going to focus primarily on stamina and on reactions. And as you can see, we end up with an 84 in stamina and 100 in reactions. When it comes to defending, we're going to pick up some defending skills as well to end up with a 92 in interception, 79 in defense awareness, 90 in stand tackle, and a 67 in slight tackle. Slight tackling is not going to be our strong suit, but the main objective is to get the ball back from the midfield to the attack. As for dribbling, we're going to pick up everything on the left side, and on the right side, we're just going to leave one of the skill moves and the links archetype to end up with an 83 in agility, 77 in balance, 94 in attack positioning, 97 in ball control, 96 in dribbling, and 4 star skill moves. Now as for the passing, on the left side we're going to focus primarily on vision and that's why we're going to pick up everything that has curve and vision and curve is going to be a bonus. And on the right side we're going to pick up everything there is to end up with a 99 in vision, 58 in crossing, 99 in long pass, 99 in short pass and a 78 in curve. Now before we head on to the shooting section, if you enjoy this content and find it helpful and entertaining, please consider dropping a like and hit that subscribe button as it helps out my channel a lot. And for more career mode content and personalized builds and personalized help, Join the Discord server, which I will leave a link for in the description section and the pinned comments section. And now on to shooting, we're going to focus on the right side of the skill tree to pick up finishing, shot powers, and long shot. To end up with a 79 in finishing, 83 in shot power, and 101 in long shots. And don't worry too much about that 3-star weak foot. All the skills we picked up earlier, except for the interceptor one, are going to give us a 5-star weak foot. And now on to pace. In this part, we're going to pick up 3 accelerations on the left side and 3 sprint speeds on the right. To end up with a 19 acceleration and a 19 sprint speed. As a center midfielder, I don't think you need more than that. This build is not about pace, it's more about passing. Now let's check out the personality section and ideally I used to say for center midfielders it would be better to have heartbeat but after I allocated the points there's no reason to have heartbeat as most of the things that we need such as short pass and long pass are going to be at a 99 without investing in this personality trait. So the best thing for you to do is just with other builds have a 50 to 55 percent invested in Maverick and the remaining invested in heartbeat split equally anywhere between 20 to 25 percent in each heartbeat and virtuoso. So having 50 to 55 percent of maverick is going to give us plus five to composure dribbling long shots shot power and most importantly acceleration and sprint speed and also plus five in finishing and 20 to 25 percent in heartbeat is going to give us plus five in aggression and reaction and 20 to 25 percent in virtuoso is going to give us plus five in defense awareness and stamp tackle and if you're not max level yet and you would like to get there quick so you can try out these builds for yourself i'm going to go ahead and link my video on how to reach max level on the end screen and go ahead and check that out